Hello and welcome to another episode of today's Shika. Let's begin with the practice question. The 53rd International Film Festival of India is scheduled to be held in. Goa is the correct answer. Recently, the steering committee deliberated over various components of 53rd IFFI. It is scheduled to be held during 22-28 November 2022 at Goa to celebrate the joy of cinema. Aims at providing a common platform for filmmakers from across the globe to showcase their talent and put forth the excellence of cinema from all over. It will be conducted jointly by the Directorate of Film Festivals and the State Government of Goa. National Fish Farmers Day 2022 was celebrated on 10th July is the correct answer. Recently, National Fisheries Development Board celebrated the National Fish Farmers Day in a hybrid mode at NFDB Hyderabad. It is celebrated on 10th July every year throughout the country. It is celebrated to commemorate Professor Dr. Hira Lal Chaudhary and his colleague Dr. Ali Kunhi for their contribution in achieving the successful induced breeding of major carps on 10th July 1957 at Angul in Odisha. Digital Nomad Visa is related to which of the following countries? Indonesia is the correct answer. As Indonesia deals with the economic impact of COVID-19, the country has announced digital nomad visas for travellers to attract more foreign tourists. Digital nomads are people who work remotely while travelling to different places and spending their earned income in the country they are travelling to. The digital nomad visa would allow remote workers to stay in Indonesia, including Bali, tax-free. Italy, Barbados and Antigua and Barbuda are some other countries that provide nomad visa. Sea Guardians is the naval exercise between China and the correct answer is Pakistan. Recently, China and Pakistan began four-day naval exercise off the coast of Shanghai. The exercises are the second edition of Sea Guardians following drills held in January 2020 in the Arabian Sea of Karachi. Sitaglipitin drug is used in the treatment of diabetes is the correct answer. With the diabetes medicine Sitagliptin going out of patent, many pharmaceutical companies have jumped on the chance to market generic version of the drug. This move is likely to bring down the prices of the medicine by at least a third. Sitagliptin is a blood sugar lowering drug. It was first in the category called gliptins where a protein called EPP4 is restrained by it and this impacts the metabolic system so that the pancreas is prompted to increase insulin secretion and regulate sugar in blood. With reference to the cloudburst, consider the following statements. It refers to an extreme amount of rain that happens for a very long period. IMD defines it as unexpected precipitation exceeding 100 cm per hour as we have to select the correct statement or statements. Both are not correct, D is the correct answer. According to the IMD, the recent flash floods in religious Shrine Amarnath may have been a result of a short intense rainfall and not necessarily a cloud burst. A cloud burst refers to an extreme amount of rain that happens in a short period, sometimes accompanied by hail and thunder. The IMD defines it as a unexpected precipitation exceeding 10 cm per hour over a geographical region of approximately 20 to 30 square kilometers. All instances of heavy rain in a short period are not cloudbursts if they do not fit above criteria. Consider the following statements regarding the polylactic acid. It is a sustainable alternative to polymers made from crude oil. It is easily degradable in natural environments. So, as we have to select the correct statement, only first is correct. Recently, researchers in the UK have discovered that adding sugar units to polymers increases their degradability when exposed to UV radiation. The researchers noted that public concern about plastic waste has led to the widespread usage of PLA. It is a renewable, sustainable alternative to polymers made from crude oil. PLA is sometimes advertised as biodegradable, but it only dissolves under industrial composting conditions of high temperature and humidity. It is not easily degradable in natural environments such as soil or the ocean. The World Population Prospects 2022 is released by United Nations is the correct answer. India is projected to surpass China as the world's most populous country during 2023 according to World Population Prospects 2022 by the UN Department of Economic and Social Affairs. It said that global population is projected to reach 8 billion on November 15, 2022 and it is projected to reach a peak of around 10.4 billion people during the 2080s and to remain at that level until 2100. World's top four fertilizer exporting countries are first is Russia, then China, then Canada and Morocco. D is the correct answer. Recently, Morocco plans to produce an additional 8.2 million tons of phosphorus fertilizer by 2026. It is one of the world's top four fertilizer exporters following Russia, China and Canada. Therefore, top four fertilizer exporting countries are Russia, China, Canada and Morocco. Fertilizer tends to divide into three main categories, nitrogen fertilizer, phosphorus fertilizer, potassium fertilizer. Morocco has a distinct advantage in the production of phosphorus fertilizer. Which of the following best describe the Stephens Quintet? The correct answer is a galaxy group. NASA will soon present the first full color images from its James Webb telescope. 
This will also include the images of the galaxy group 290 million light years from Earth known as Stephen's Quintet. It was first discovered in 1877 and it is located in the constellation Pegasus. The firefighting air fleet assistance program is related to which of the following groupings? European Union is the correct answer. Recently, Casares do Vento in Alvaizer, Portugal is witnessing huge forest fires and the European Union activated its firefighting air fleet assistance program rescue system that allows members to share resources to help Portugal and the European Commission created rescue to reinforce and strengthen components of the EU's disaster risk management aiming to both protect citizens from disasters and manage emerging risk. Rescue establishes a new European reserve of resources which include a fleet of firefighting planes and helicopters, medical evacuation planes as well as stockpile of medicine items and field hospitals that can respond to health emergencies. Ministry of Mines will be organizing the 6th National Conclave on Mines and Minerals in Jaipur, Gandhinagar, Lucknow, New Delhi. Answer it correctly. That's it. Thank you so much for watching.